Muck Cherry on Radio 3, and it's a party. It's 20 minutes to one, last bit of today's programme. Lovely surprise. Got some live blues music for you coming up. Do go to our Morning Brew Facebook page, and all will be revealed, because we're going live all the way from Melbourne, Australia. I want to say hi to Doc White. How are you? How How are you? How are you? (laughs) Good good on you. (laughs) Thanks very much for coming. Oh, it's a pleasure. Totally nice. Thanks to our mate Stanley Butler for fixing it up. I always love doing live music on this gig. Great. So what have you been up to? Uh, well, I've been across in China, I guess the reason for my visit, um, doing a gig at a place called uh, um, Jimmy Hornet in uh, Zhongshan, oh, yeah. owned by a friend of mine. And uh, so I, I um, put a post up that I was doing that, and Stanley got in contact with me and said, well, while you're over here, come and do some shows in Hong Kong. So I am. Right. Yeah. Well, look, it's um, my first time in Hong Kong, and I'm having a ball. It's fantastic. It? Yeah. What kind of gigs have you been doing here? Uh, Just the, the uh, lot? I did uh, the Island Bar last night at on Lama Island. Yeah. And then I'm doing La Lune tonight. Yeah. And also the Wench. Great stuff. Yeah. Um, what kind of, how do you describe your music? Obviously, we're going to hear some stuff, but where do, where, where do you go in the record shop? <laughs> uh, you probably go to the blues section and you'd find me there. Um, and that's the basis for just about everything I do, even with the, the band that I have in back in Adler, uh, back in Melbourne. Yep. Um, uh, even though there are a lot of jazz players in the band and we do de- de- deviate into that a bit, but it's, it's pretty blues based. Good old so I'm, blues. Very, I'm very kind of um, earthy in yeah. terms of my taste. It's a way that I kind of um, came to music was I threw rock and roll originally back in the 70s and then trying to find out where those guys got their influences from and then where those guys, you know, when you find them, then you go back and find where the, those, the generation before got their influences from. And when you do that for long enough, you end up at, back at the dawn of recorded music. So Robert Johnson on the blue side and Carter Family and a um, uh, uh, whole bunch of guys, you know, um, Frank, whatever his name was, the banjo player. You know, and on jazz side, you end up with uh, Louis Armstrong and King Oliver and all yeah. those guys. So that was kind of the dawn. You can't really go back any further if you're a musician that plays by ear. Yeah, um, there was sheet music from before that time, but if you're an ear player, that's where it stops. That's where it stops. I don't know how I know this, but I was listening to I think it was the first ever stereo recording in Aussie, and it was a thing called Margaret River Blues. Right. And the, by la- whom? the lady's name completely. Oh, she's dead uh, was famous. It Margaret Road Night. Pass. It was yeah. great though. Really? I mean, and it was it was Australian blues. Who'd mm. have thought it? Yeah. Well, the uh, the guy that actually kind of kicked it all off, a guy by the name Dutch Tilders, unfortunately no longer with us, but. He started out in the late 50s playing blues music. He was a Dutch immigrant who ended up in one of those uh, immigration uh, facilities that yeah. you know, the English and the and the Europeans ended up while they were getting resettled. And um, Margaret yeah, Hostel. Margaret Hostel. Yeah. And he latched onto blues music on a boat on the way over. He's played a English sailor playing a record and then decided that's what he wanted to do. <laughs> yes. And then and he made a huge career out of it. Somebody said to an Aussie mate of mine, being, well, how did the blues... And uh, get to Australia or something like that. And my mate says, on a boat, mate. On a boat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sh- should we do some music? Can sure. You, can you just show, sh- hold it up to the camera there and show our less viewers your funky guitar? Yeah. What is it? What is it? I this mean, is a, a guitar. It's called a resonator guitar, and it's made by the National Guitar Company, who have been around since 1928. These, were, these came onto the market. Uh, and um, the technology was pretty schmick for the time. Under here, if you're watching on uh, the TV, um, if you can't <laughs> see it on radio, it looks a bit like a hubcap. It does. Yeah, uh, in the middle, in the sort of the lower bit of the guitar. And underneath the hubcap is a, uh, a spun aluminium cone, like a cone you would find in a speaker. Yeah. And what happens is when you uh, pluck the strings, it vibrates the cone. And it was uh, invented to allow guitar players to c- compete with saxophone players right. and trumpet players in brass bands. And then about four years later, somebody invented the electric guitar <laughs> and uh, kind of ruined the market for it in the big cities. But the blues guys picked these up, as did a lot of country players, because the South hadn't been electrified. Mm-hmm. And so an electric guitar was a waste of time. Yeah. And they were still loud enough that you could play um, you know, a fish fryer or a barbecue or whatever and get people up dancing. Good stuff. That's how they came about. <laughs> do join us on Facebook uh, live if you can and watch and listen to Doc White do his thing. Mm. This is a ghost story. It's one of my tunes. I want to see your face
from here, Katie, now. I want to see your face. Come to me, darling, now. Feel my cold embrace. Come here, Katie. you thought I'd gone Come here, Katie, now I bet you thought I'd gone But I've been lying in my grave, yeah So damn long Now, I bet you thought I'd go. Come here, Katie. Now, take your last breath. Dot White, right here. On the morning brew, listening to what well, beautiful, thank you. It's thank always you. a story, isn't there, in those songs? Yeah, amazing, <laughs> really, really cool. That, um, you, you were telling me about volume before with that plate on your guitar, yeah. it focuses the sound, it loves the microphone. Yeah, it does, yeah, really. Yeah, who are? Yeah, <laughs> that means we better do another one. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> well, we mentioned before about gospel music, so um, uh, I might 
might do a lively one that people can sing along to at home. <laughs> okay. I first heard this record, uh, this tune on a record by Alan Lomax, who was the big collector of uh, folk music in America, all, all over the world. In fact, he collected folk music in in um, in Europe and uh, in Asia as well, Japan and what have you. And his collection is at the Smithsonian Institute now. It's a huge collection of stuff that he and his dad, John Lomax, recorded. And he put out a book called uh, The Land Where Blues Began, and uh, which was a, a kind of uh, retrospective of his experiences. And he's a wonderful writer. It's a fantastic thing to actually read. And there's a CD that goes with it, and it's a bit eerie. He's talking about where he was recording stuff and the experiences that he had, and then you hear the the re actual tape that he did. Anyway, so he recorded this guy um, singing a tune in, in a bar outside of Nashville, drunk in the gutter, and uh, came across him and decided it was worthy of his uh, thing, and he went and got the tape recorder. In those days, the tape recorder was a 300-pound machine that fitted on the back of a truck, so it wasn't an easy thing to do. Um, so he, he went and got the truck, hooked up the batteries, got, ran the wires and the microphones out, and... Uh, got to this guy and made him to do it all again. So this is called Glory Glory, or some people call it When I Lay My Burden Down. Radio 3, that was brilliant. 
Thank you. Real deal, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. what, wonderfully played and wonderful music. Thank you very much. Thanks where, for having me. Where can I, oh, any time, come back, come back, come back to Hong Kong. <laughs> where can people find out more about your stuff? Give us some webs, uh, websites. I have a website, docwhite.com.au. You have to put the AU on the end. Yep. But, uh, yeah, docwhite.com. And my, my uh, music is up on that site as well, so if you want to have a listen, there's Great. some video. Um, my thoughts about life in general, which are... Um, uh, I don't know. Random. Thought, <laughs> random thoughts about life in general. <laughs> so back in Melbourne, I do a bunch of things. As you know, apart from playing music, I act a bit and um, right. and write for film. And, and it's uh, all there. It's all there. Great stuff tonight at La Lune and the Wench. Good on you. Thanks for coming. Looking forward to the next time. Cheers. Dot White. Turn it up so I can feel it. Turn it up so I can be. Near.